opportunity to give a summary of uh, Rizi Wenyoike uh, Yorogi and I have said a summary because we are doing the eology in the way it should be and we should be ready on Tuesday but for this purpose we said that we would want to have just a summary of her life in this world eology of Lizzie Mudoni Wanyoike born in 1951 and passed on in year 2024. Ali Rife. Ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, and esteemed guests, we gather here today to celebrate the remarkable life of Lizzie Wanyoike, a woman whose impact on the lives of many has left an indelible mark. Born on the 28th November 1951 in Gafukeine town, Muranga County. She was the daughter of the late Peterson Gadage Karioki and Naomi Wangeshi. Lizzie was the sixth child in a family of ten siblings. Surrounded by the love and support of her brothers and sisters, John Gadage, the late Udias Wangari, the late Fresia Joki, Jones Joroge, Sylvia Wabui, David Bambi, Samuel Mainge, Rachel Wagekoyo, and Joseph Kirago. And location. Rizzi's journey began at Gagukeine Primary School, where she laid foundation for a lifetime learning. Her academic prowess led her to Kahuhia Girls High School and later Nakuru High School shaping her into a woman of knowledge and resilience. Her pursuit of higher education continued at Kenyatta College, the present-day Kenyatta University, where she studied education, honoring her skills and embracing the opportunities that could shape her future. Summary. Lizzie was the wife of the late Josphat Buru Wawanyoike. And Lizzie is a mother to Anthony Buru and Susan Wairimu Wanyoike, Stera Wanjiro and Lawrence Joroge, Elik Kalioki and Melde Wanjiro. She is a mother in love to Anne Wanjiro, David Buru, and Peter Getao. She is a doting grandmother to Ayana Wanjiro. Shana Mudoni, Ivan Boro, Jonathan Gigi, Sidney Bolo, Shaz, Shaz, eh, Shaza Kelich, J. Boro, Shemio Mudoni, Rizzi Mudoni, Ian, Philip, Degwa, and Lizzie Mudoni Wanyoike. Kalia. Her career started as a teacher at State House Girls High School teaching business studies. She later transferred to Temple College as a teacher in secretarial studies. The beginning of her first opportunity built on her dedication and commitment. She quickly rose from the position of lecturer to deputy principal and later co-owner of Temple College. Lizzie's entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to education led her to establish Nibs Technical College a testament to her vision for empowering others through knowledge and skills. The institution stands as a living legacy, impacting countless lives by providing quality education and fostering a culture of excellence. In addition, Rizzi's achievements went on. The Emory Hotel and now the Emory Hotel stands as a symbol of her commitment to the hospitality and service industry. The establishment of this hotel was her vision that went beyond business. It was about creating space where people could thrive, learn, and experience the best of life. Lizzie was a true philanthropist at heart. She founded 
Lizzie Wanyoike uh, Foundation, embodying her belief in giving back to the community. Through this foundation, she has touched the lives of many, offering opportunities for growth, development, and a chance for a brighter future. Lizzie's dedication to education and nurturing young parents was evidenced by the establishment of the Lizzie Wanyoike Preparatory and Senior School. A testament to her unwavering commitment to shaping the minds of the younger generation and providing them with a strong foundation for success both in school and at home. Promotion to glory. Three years ago, Lizzie faced health challenges that tested her strength and resilience and deterred she sought treatment in Kenya, India, in the United States, displaying incredible courage throughout her journey. On January 14th, 2024, Rizzi took her well-deserved rest, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to inspire generations to come. As we reflect on Rizzi's life, let us remember her as a woman of vision, compassion, and determination. Let us carry forward the torch she lit, ensuring that her legacy lives on in the hearts of those she touched. So rest in eternal peace. Kwa dakika chache ni geomba tulivu kwa ajili ya maisha ya daktari Lizzie Mvanyo Nyeke.